Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Victor Morgan and this is The Crips. In today's video, I'm going to talk about fire. Um, you must have been hearing about fire and you might have watched all about some navigators test net. But yeah, um, I've got updates for you and I'm going to guide you through the process. Okay, um, this video is brought to you by The Crips and you're welcome to join us you're welcome to subscribe you're welcome to join our communities via the link in the video description if you feel you got value from this video please do well to leave a like and um, share this video to somebody that it can help so let's get right into fire fire is actually a layer one evm compatible smart contract platform that focuses on developing for benefit blockchain ecosystem based on the sustainable development goals um, defined by the United Nations. As you can see, it says it is the point where blockchain meets sustainability. And it's quite amazing to see what they are doing in the ecosystem, both in Web 2 and Web 3. Um, you, they are currently on the testnet phase and everyone is encouraged to test. Initially, it was only a private um, testnet where a particular set of people could test, but right now it's public. As you can see, they have a lot of partners, and um, and um, Fire actually raised a lot in its um, Series A funding. Okay, it's raised one hundred twenty-one million. Company is currently worth one point five billion dollars, and and that's freaking cool. So this is the roadmap, and as you can see, we've actually come from stage one to three, and we're actually on stage four, which is actually the test net um, that is tagged Thunder Beta. We are also going to go over to later. Later, there is going to be the Thunder Testnet GA, uh, which is also going to be shown, uh, posted on this channel too. And there is also going to be the main net launch, which is going to be at the quarter three, and then the TGE, okay, the token generation um, is going to come after the main net launch. And so we can look at that towards the quarter three or quarter four. So it's very important that we test this um, platform and provide feedbacks. Now, this video is, might be long, so um, if you want to skip to any parts, there's going to be a timestamp in the video description, so do well to use that to skip to the parts. Uh, this video is going to cover the test nets on how you can um, interact with the wallet and also how you can deploy a smart contract. So whichever you're interested in, you can do well to navigate to that point. Now, here is how you start. Um, right in the video description, you are going to find a crew um, link. You are meant to use that crew, crew link to come over here, and you're just going to have to accept invitation. Here is the crew page, and as you can see, I have 0% and level 1. There is a lot of tags over here, and it's very important that I go through all of it. Uh, basically, all of it, yeah? I, I don't know how much of it you want to do, but... Um, is advisable that you see this gets started is okay cool you can finish all of that it's quite easy so the first was you is for you to get started and by tapping on this you're going to see um, all of this it's going to tell you to visit this page for you to claim uh, it's going to tell you to visit this page so you're going to tap on that uh, it's actually the document section of fire okay um, so this is where every um, research document and stuff is. So you can just, once you've done that, you can see you can claim in a number of seconds because they want you to actually go through a lot of stuff here. You tap on claim reward and you would um, receive the rewards. You can see my XP has increased. Um, so we're just continuing to create a fire wallet. So what you need to do is just tap on that. And then they are, all the links are going to be provided for you. Here is a guide showing you how to add wallet, and it's very simple. You can go through it or just follow the steps in this video. The first thing to do is to download the Fire Wallet extension over here. So you tap on this, and then you're going to have to find that you're downloading, um, you're downloading a particular uh, file. So this, that's what you're going to get. And once you're done with that, you're going to have to go over to your um, wallet extensions. As um, you're going to manage wallet extensions on Chrome. And then you're going to turn on developer mode. So once I turn this on, you're going to see that I have the option to 
to load unpacked. I'm going to tap on load unpacked. Here is what you're going to do. Once you download this, you are going to go over to the file and you're going to extract the file. And then you're going to see this Chrome. And so you're going to select this Chrome and then you're going to select folder. Once that is done, you're going to find that you've added it over here. And if you tap on your wallet extension, you can see it here. So all you need to do is to tap on this and then set up your wallet. You're going to create a new wallet and then you enter a new name. So I'm going to call it the Crips and then I'm going to create wallet and then continue. Now you have to note that you're going to see a number of details over here. Okay, there's new wallet details over here. But um, I've covered up the, um, the seed phrase and the um, private key. All right. Um, you're going to have to copy the private key. I mean, the seed phrase over here, save it somewhere in your journal or whatsoever. But it's very important that you copy it and save it at this point because you would not get it back anymore. Once you copy that down, you tap on continue and then you enter a password. Continue and congratulations, your wallet has been created. So as you can see, this is the interface. And it has a number of features, the transfer, swap, native, which is the two chains. We have native and the EVM. So back at the, the crew tax, um, you can see that the requirement is for you to submit your native chain wallet address. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy your Fiverr chain wallet address, Fire, I mean, and then you're going to tap on the native chain and then you're going to copy the wallet address. So you paste that over here and then you claim your reward. Once that's done, you're going to claim for set coins. Uh, for you to do that, you tap on that and then you go over to this point. You're going to be on the explorer.fire.network and you're going to go over to faucet and then you're going to provide your wallet address over here. So you can see native chain faucet. Copy your address, paste it. And then it says enter up to five fire coin. Okay, so I'll tap on five and go. Easy, as you can see, the balance has been transferred successfully. Now the crew tax wants the transaction details for the faucet. So we are going to go over to Fire Chain Explorer and then we'll tap on transactions. Now from transactions. You can see all the transactions on the network, but here's what you want to do. You want to search based on your wallet address. So you paste that over here and then you search. Now you can see that I have this is the transaction for the receipt of my faucet. So I'm going to tap on this transaction hash and then I'm going to copy the address over here and then I'm going to go to crew and paste claim reward. So um, for these three, send fire coin, receive fire coin, swap and swap, I'm going to do all of that at once and I will not be claiming rewards over here. So um, what we need to do is we need to get another wallet address. For you to get a wallet address, you can go over to the Discord channel and then you're going to see a lot of people that drop their wallet address over here for you to send them coins so you can send to them. Once you copy the wallet address, head back to your wallet and then you paste the wallet address over here and then you enter the amount. Say for example, you enter one and then you transfer. The transfer is going to be successful and you would see that over here. If you go on the Fire Explorer, you are going to find your transaction here. As you can see, out. Now, somebody else is going to have to send you some Fire. Um, so you need to copy your address and then you need to go over you can go over to the video description and join our community the crypts community and you're going to be on the crypts chat and then you can post your address over here and request for uh, fire to be sent to you it will be done asap once that is done you are going to find the transaction over here too and just the way i did initially you're going to copy the transaction address and you're going to and provide it on the crew tax as it is needed. The next is for you to swap from native chain to EVM and from EVM to native chain. So here's what I'm going to do. I have some balance here in the native chain. So I'm going to swap from native to EVM. I'm going to swap one. 
and that's going to be successful very quickly as you can see done and i'm going to tap on swap again now as you can see i've received it over here and i'm just going to flip from evm to native and then i'm going to tap on 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 um so swap so as you can see it's done and it's quite simple you will also find the transaction over here as you can see this is the swap transactions here and here so you just copy the link and do the same thing now the next is deploying a smart contract and that is where you have to pay very keen attention in the video description you are going to find the link or also in this form you are going to find the link now when you tap on this link you are going to be on the native chain WASM. What we are doing is we are going to deploy a contract on the Fire Chain Network. And like I said initially, you are going to need the MetaMax, so just keep that close by. Now, for the native chain, we are not going to do that, okay? We are not going to do the native chain. We are going to do the Fire EVM chain. Now, what you want to do, you want to scroll. As you can see, this is the Fire um, IDE. Okay, this is deploying a contract using Fire IDE. Um, and if you scroll down, you would get to the point where it says um, using Explorer, you're going to skip that, and then you're going to come over to Remix IDE. It's quite simple, um, but then I'm going to take you through um, this step. Now, using Remix, we are using remix.ethereum.org. So you are going to use this link to go to remix.ethereum dot hog for you to um, deploy a contract now as you can see um, i'm going to take you through the steps on how to do all of this and you're going to find it very easy on your first time on remix you are going to see this prompt here and you're going to accept uh, and there's going to be a little bit of guide on how to navigate and all of that just keep next and next i'll tell you what to do okay um so i'll just close this and good so here's what you want to do you want to create a solidly file okay you want to create a solidly workspace and you first what you do is just tap on contracts okay and then you tap on create new file now you're going to call that file fire.soul okay this is the soul means solidly okay now on fire.soul you're going to go over to this document here and then you're going to copy all of this. Okay? You're going to copy all of this. And then you're going to come. And then you're going to go back to Remix. And then you're going to paste it here. You're going to see this error. And then you'll say, okay. Now, before we continue, this is where Metamax comes in. You're going to go over to the explorer okay and then you're going to select from native chain to evm chain are you sure you want to switch you'd say yes now on metamax it's very important that you create you're going to create a new wallet okay you're going to import rather so you're going to import a new wallet and by importing a new wallet you're going to come over to you're going to import over here okay so here's what you need. You need the private key of your Fiverr. I mean, the, you need the private key of your Fire Chain wallet. So open your Fire Chain wallet and go over to settings. On settings, you tap on manage wallet, and you're going to find the points where you are going to export your private key. So you tap on export your private key. Once that is done, you tap on continue. And you're going to see your private key over here there's going to be a copy icon over here you tap on that and then go over to your metamax wallet on metamax tap on this circle here and then import account as you can see private key is selected so you're going to import your private key you go and tap on this and you're going to press um, you tap on import as you can see you're going to notice that this address here zero x 059 is the same with the address on the fire chain wallet okay that's going to be your um it's going to be your evm chain wallet address as you can see same thing uh, so um here's what you want to do 
you want to add fire network okay as you can see right here you're going to add it to metamask tap on approve and switch network now as you can see you can see your fire token over here in metamask go back to remix and then go over to the solidly compiler tap on compile fire soul fire dot soul and that's done now you go over to deploy and run transaction in the environment you want to choose injected provider metamax and you will have to confirm this on metamax first notice that there is no account over here but as soon as you confirm it as soon as you connect you're going to see your wallet address over here now what you need to do is just tap deploy and then confirm once done, you will see this check mark here and you're going to see the block and then you're going to see that your um, contract has been successfully deployed. Now here's what you're going to do. You tap on this and you're going to see a drop down and then you're going to see the transaction hash. You copy the transaction hash, you go over to fire. In the search box, you're going to provide this. Okay, you're going to provide the, the transaction hash and tap on enter. Now you can see the contract. You can see the contract you deployed. This is a transaction hash from soul to soul, and you can see the status is success. Now what you want to do is you want to copy this address, and then go over to the task, and then paste this over here. Once that is done, you can claim your reward. And just like that, you would have been done with the Thunder beta test net all the way to deploying smart contracts. Now for this, you will need to provide the screenshots of your transactions, like I said initially. So what you need to do is to go over to fire chain and then switch to the native chain. Okay, that's once you've carried out the tax, switch to the native chain, and then you would um, go over to transactions uh, make sure you copy your wallet your wallet uh, address and then you paste that over here. You can now make a screenshot of these um, transactions and then of the transaction you sent out and in and then apply them to where they are. Now another part is you need to you need to um, check your knowledge over here and down in the video description you are going to see um the quiz the answer to this quiz okay you're going to see the answer to this quiz um so very easily just select this and then uh, select the right answer you would also need to invite your friends so you can tap on invite friends over here and invite three people to crew tree so that's how to carry out the fire chain airdrop tax if you find this video informative please do well to like this video share this video and also subscribe to this channel you can also turn on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever i drop videos like this all right so thanks for watching guys um before i leave i would like to also inform you that you should also carry out the the sarcophagus testnet it's very important that you carry out the sarcophagus testnet it's actually been extended to april okay so do well to do that and join our communities on whatsapp we have the announcement channel and the chat channel um so do well to get connected so you get access to information that will help you in this space